Hi, welcome to a quick intro tutorial on the iRinger software. Um, once you've downloaded the software from iRinger.net, um, it should be on your desktop or somewhere easily accessible um, from Windows Explorer. Okay, you should see an icon like this. Uh, double click on it and it will open an interface that looks like this. First step is uh, import. I'm going to import an mp3 called uh, a song called Landslide by the Smashing Pumpkins. I'm going to open this. Now it's converting the media. This could take up to three minutes. It could take five seconds. It depends on the, the size of the media you're importing. If you're importing a large video, uh, it has to extract the audio out of the video, so that could take a little bit longer. But it shouldn't take any more than a couple, more than 30 seconds. Um, next is, next step, once we've imported, is preview. You just hit the button. There it is. That's the landslide song. Um, let's say you don't <clears throat> want the... Uh, it's starting at zero seconds right now. Now from this point to this point is 30 seconds, which is set here. Let's say you don't want the first part of the song, uh, starting at the zero second, which is there. Let's say you want the 90 second second. Now, if you're not sure, you can just keep scrolling and keep hitting play until you hear what you want to hear. I know from previous tries that it's the 90 second second. So, there we are. And that's exactly what I want, the guitar solo. So, let's say I don't want 30 seconds though. I only want 5 seconds. Uh, 30 seconds is just too long for what I need it to do. So I'm going to slide this down to around 5 seconds. Now you can fine-tune fine -tune this um, once you take your mouse off. Use your left and right arrow keys on your keyboard. It'll move it by tenths of a second. So there's 5 seconds on the head. As you can see, I want it to line up right at that, right where that sound gets very large. So instead of left clicking, I'm going to use the right click. You'll see an icon up here that has an S. Um, that means slow. Left clicking gives you an F, which is fast. Slow will scroll the music by by thousands of a second as opposed to tenths of a second using the left mouse button. So I'm going to slide using the right mouse button to the left as you can see it slowly moves and I'm going to get it right where it lines up and there it is so now we can preview again and that's exactly what we wanted now I'm going to keep the volume at hundred percent that means that the volume is going to be hundred percent of what the original song is at um, I'm going to adjust the fade this is a basic effect where you can set a fade in and a fade out you can slide this uh, to the right or to the left depending on how much you want now this percentage means that right now I have it set at 20%. That means the first 20% of the song is going to be used for fading in, and the last 20% of the song is going to be used for fading out. If we didn't want it to fade out, we can uncheck this button. Now the first 20% is going to be used to fade in, and then it'll stay at 100% volume till it finishes. But for demo's sake, I'm going to use fade in and fade out. We can also do the same thing. Obviously, uh, it'll start at 100% volume and then fade out at the end. I'm going to leave it as fade in and fade out. Now let's preview it. So as you heard, it started from 0% volume, went up to 100% volume, played, and then died out at the end. So that's what all we need. Um, I'm just going to hit now the third and final step is just hit the export button. Uh, uh, the ringtone directory is set at, uh, it should be set to a uh, directory in your documents called iPhone ringtones. If you don't want to use that, you can hit this icon here and change the directory. Okay, uh, I'm going to change the title. This is just too long of a title. There's no reason to have that long of a title. It won't look good on your iPhone, so I'm just going to change it to la simply landslide. Looping set to a half second gap. This means that when the ringtone is finished playing, it will pause for a half second and then start playing again. You can set this to have absolutely no gap to having a five second gap. Uh, no gap means that when the, uh, the ring is finished playing, it'll just start right back up again. Uh, all the way up to five seconds mean when, when the ringtone is finished playing, it'll wait five seconds and then play again. I'm going to set it, keep it as the default a half second gap. 
um, and make sure this check box is checked uh, that says export to iTunes if you want to make sure it gets put on your iPhone I, or on to your iPhone via iTunes um, this is an option export via SCP that I'll get into in the next tutorial so we're all set if you don't know what this is just leave it unchecked okay uh, now we're all set I'm just gonna hit go it's creating it and it says the ring, now it's finished, it says the ringtone landslide has been created. This ringtone has been added to iTunes as well. Please check iTunes to make sure it was added. Uh, I'll hit OK. Now I'm going to open iTunes. I'm going to go to the new uh, ringtone section here in your library. And there it is. Double click on it to make sure it's there. OK. And <clears throat> now we're going to go to, I have my iPhone already plugged in. Um, this software only works with uh, the firmware version 1.1.2 or newer. I have 1.1.3, so uh, I'm all set to go. All right, so let's go to through the ringtones tab up here. Make sure sync ringtones is checked. Uh, selected ringtones or all ringtones is checked and then look for your new ringtone and there it is called landslide check that and that's all you have to do so now you hit apply and it's synced if you were watching up here you could see the landslide ringtone being synced and let me go back and check the iPhone to make sure it's there you could uh, hit settings Go to sounds, go to ringtone, and then find it in your custom ringtone section. And there it is. I'm going to play it. And we're all set. Okay, so that's all there is to it. Um, uh, if you need any help, you can email me at info at iRinger.net. Uh, be sure to check www.iRinger.net for uh, software updates. Uh, I'm constantly updating the software and please donate. Uh, the, uh, donations really help this software get off the ground as far as paying hosting services uh, and, and any other type of advertising to get the word out about this software. Be sure to tell your friends and thank you very much for using the software. Um, be sure to check back. I'm going to be doing another uh, tutorial on the more advanced features of the software. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.